Hey folks, we're back with another one of Arbiter's Gary's Mod tutorials. Um, today we're going to be covering Stargate Mod. Now, the um, the whole thing, I've searched on the internet for a way to install or download it, and it has happened that the whole of Face Punch is doing a problem with searching and I can't find an up-to-date version. So what I've done is I've gone into my own SVN uh, in my Gary's Mod folders and found the URL that you need to download from, and I'll post that in the description along with the login information and whatnot. But this is the URL that I found and obviously if we go on there and type in the correct credentials, which is Anon SVN, you would see that it comes up with the, the four folders that would be required. Now, um, since I'm separating this video out into two parts, I'm just going to show you what we can do. So I'm going to create a new folder here that's called... Oh, I've already got a new folder because this is like the third time I've done this video. Um, there you can see there's something called Stargate here. Now all you would do is you would right click on it and you would go SVN Checkout. Actually I wouldn't call it Stargate because Stargate is one of the integral folders. I'll call it Stargate Mod. And I'll put that in caps. Mod in caps. So SVN Checkout. Now you just need to copy the URL that there is and then you press OK and minimize that because that's huge. As you can see it'll start there to download all the files. Now obviously I don't want the files again so I'm just going to cancel it but then when you start it should have all the four folders that you need and all you need to do is highlight these four folders and copy them or paste them into your Gary's Mod add-ons folder and then they should all work. Go away Mark. Right, on with the show. Right then folks, welcome to GM Big City which is a map that I'm using just to illustrate the fact of warping around the map. Now you've seen Stargates in a few of my other tutorial videos where I've I've used it to get around the map and I'm going to explain really how to use them and how they work and what really they, what use they have. So you've hopefully installed the mod by now. Um, first thing you'll notice is that you have a new props um, category and this is all the Stargate props. As you can see here we've got things like stairways and shrines and big massive well, big massive ramps and stuff but also a few smaller things like um, just little crystals and weapons and stuff um, so besides all that um, secondly what you're going to notice is that in your weapons you have well besides the counter strike stuff that I've got you have a stargate section and that's a hand device, a ring caller, a ronin's gun, sword and cloaking, blah 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 um, these are quite effective weapons obviously um, if you don't know anything about the show, um, which I suggest you watch because I actually quite enjoy it, it's one of my favourite shows, but I'm assuming you don't know anything at all about Stargate or any of the background whatsoever, so I'll just go th briefly through it. Um, Stargate is basically a big ring like this, I'll, I'll use the prop and not get into the end of these just yet. It's a big ring like this and it, is, it essentially acts as a portal between there's one of these and there'll be, some, there'll be another one and if you jump through that you'll come out the other end. It's a wormhole, and it's quite flat, and it's not very compact, but it works. So, that's essentially what a Stargate is. It's a big giant portal, but there's a whole fan base, and there's a TV show behind it, and it's all it's very good. And I'm glad someone made a mod out of it. Um, so then, we'll start with... What's this? Switch? Oh, you know what. So we'll start, um, I'll make a Stargate. So this is a Stargate from the SG-1 series. It's a big, massive metal thing. Um, so you'll be wondering how on earth do I use this? Now there's two ways you can use it. Um, and there's, there's a way Stargates work. First of all, they have an address. And you give them an address and in the in the TV series it was that they have six symbols which are star constellations and there is an origin. But obviously since we're not on different planets, we're on Gmod so we can only use different maps, we just press E and we can give our, our gate an address and a name. So I'm going to call this gate 01. You can't use the same character twice or you can't um, use anything other than alphanumeric numbers. It has to be up a case and you can't use any symbols. And what I'm going to say is this is the spawn gate and when I close this if I open it you can see there there's a little box open that says gate 01 name spawn gate. Now I'm going to fly somewhere else in the map. I'm going to fly on top of this building here and I'm going to spawn a Atlantis gate. And there you go. 
this gate a little more shiny from one of the spin-off series of Atlantis and I'm going to call this gate 02 and this is a rooftop gate. Now as you can see there is the gate we just spawned so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right there's two ways you can dial a stargate and there's two different ways you can dial. Dial is like as if it's a phone you would dial a number and it would go and connect you to the other phone. So we have these things DHDs and DHDs if you look at them have a lot of numbers and letters on them um, or you can also use the at symbol that's something I forgot you can use the at if you ever want to. <coughs> so you can dial gate 01 so G A T E 01 and that would and if I were to press the hash, the hash key which represents the home symbol you can see it's starting to dial through the gate. Now, this is important. When it opens, there's a vortex, and the vortex will basically obliterate anything in its path. And you can see I'm back where I started now. I was up there, now I've stepped through, and the gate's closed behind me. Sometimes the gates won't close, and sometimes they will. That's irrelevant. So, that's how you'd work a Stargate. Another way of doing it is to just go up to the gate, press E, and then you can just select it and press this green button here that says dial and that will dial the stargate regardless of a DHD I'm going to stand in front of it and illustrate there you can see I've just been completely obliterated and that's why you shouldn't stand in front of a stargate 